Hello. Hello, Juan. <clears throat> Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hi, George. Hi, teacher. How, How was you? your day? Oh, good, good. And a little bit tired because uh, I have a lot of activities. But, you know, in the end, it was was nice relaxing and no problem right I mean, okay everything went smooth smoothly <laughs> okay suavemente <laughs> on wheels sobre dos ruedas como una moto like a motorcycle huh? <laughs> no and, and you how was your day it was a lot of work because okay. in the last day of the month we we prepared some document for a for people mm -hmm. who who wants to to credit okay and how many people Uh, because because of pandemic mm -hmm. i work in our feed about five people for each department mm -hmm. yes okay good so then this is about but you you have to you work with money you have to give credit yep uh micro financiera ah, okay micro micro finance micro finance you know uh, Fusai? I've heard about it. Mm -hmm. okay. Fundación, Fundación Salvadoreña de Apoyo Integral. Yes, I've heard about it. Uh, I work in there. Okay, good. Excellent. But that is for entrepreneurs or for any person? It's for, uh, este, for personas de, que no entran en la pirámide. Uh -huh. Las comunidades, yes. a través de las ADESCO. Okay, because they don't have a, a, a steady job. No tienen un trabajo fijo. Ajá, ajá. Okay. O son emprendedores, son uh -huh. trabajadores informales, o, o tienen un negocio. Entrepreneurs, right? Entrepreneurs. Okay, good. That's a nice project. Yep, but it's a little bit hard. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, because sometimes you don't know if you're going to get the money back. <laughs> <laughs> if they will, if they will pay and back. The, and the more I in, is increment. It's increasing, yes. Increasing. Yeah, because the yeah because people you know sometimes they have money sometimes they don't right they depend on what they sell during the day. Yes, depend mm -hmm. on the lo que venden el día, right? Yeah, uh -huh. then, Ay, zapateros, eh, shoemakers, gente que vende tele, eh, car recargas, teléfonos. Okay, just like vendors. Eh, tor Vendor, comida, right? que, antojitos, okay. tortillas. De ese, ese rubro más o menos es. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's complicated. Complicated, but nice. Mm -hmm. Nice because you can help people yep okay good excellent george hello gabby hello how are you today happy not happy tired not tired i'm fine oh, just fine yes okay. and you all right good here no talking as usual i like okay that's nice i like talking a lot so we have a bit here, Herman, Herman, no, Herman, right, Herman. How are you, Herman? All right. Ready for the celebration tonight? Tonight is the graduation, right? <clears throat> Good evening, teacher. Hello. 
the celebration. Yes, yeah, celebration tonight with, with your diploma. Huh? Yes. Yes, good. Did you get did you get your diploma, people? Did you get the diploma? No, not yet. No, no let no se acaba el, el, el diploma. Uh, yes. I I hey, have, hey. have yo, I, I have a problem uh, to print ah, diploma. To print. to print it. Yes, sir, yes. Okay. Bueno, si es de printing, eh, pueden hablar a soporte técnico para que les ayuden a ver si puede ser que, que el sistema de ellos esté sobrecargado o algo así, ¿verdad? You can do it. It would be nice. And now let's see. I don't need my screen. We're going to go to the first unit to, to review the grammar, the grammar the points. And Take a, a review and try to remember or see if you have any questions. Okay, let me show you. Okay, this is how we started the, the first unit. They present in the article two. Now, here, this is the reading. At the beginning, we had the month, dates. Then we had the, the just the questions. Okay, how to ask just a question using be going to. Okay, and then hi. It is he going to order a cake? We can follow this formula to express. Okay, this one. Okay, according to, <clears throat> to what we study in those days, it says, are you going to, remember the, what was the expression going to, to express things that we plan to do, right? That we plan to do in the future. And then says, are you going to do anything this weekend? Okay, are you going to study are you going to study, for example, are you going to study English next, uh, the next uh, course? Uh, let's see, um, Juan, are you going to take the next level? Are you going to study the next level? <clears throat> uh, yes. Okay. Then you can uh, say, yes, I am, right? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> and then you say, yes, I am. I'm going to take the next uh, level, right? I'm going to take the next, the next level. Uh, are you going to study, uh, for example, Gabriela, are we going to have a class tomorrow? Are we uh, going to have a class tomorrow? No. We mm -hmm. are in exactly right. No, we are in. So you see, we are talking about things that uh, probably were planned, but not they are not in the plans. Uh, they are not in our plans for this day. For example, uh, Jorge, are you going to work tomorrow? Damn. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, for example, yeah, and then you can say, Yes, I'm going to work. Okay, because it's Friday, right? Then, uh, let's say, Herman, 
Are you going to are you going to go to the movies tomorrow? Yes, I am. I'm going to to movie tonight. Not tonight. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, good. So you see, are you going to? Right, this is the, the plan. Uh, Jose, um, are you going to are you going to visit your parents this weekend? Yes, I am. Yes, right. And Edith, are you going to eat a uh, hamburger tomorrow? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. It is. Are you going to play? Uh, are you going to play tennis uh, this weekend? It is. Are you going to play tennis this weekend? Or are you going to eat pupusas tomorrow morning? It is not hungry. Okay. Who is going to eat pupusas tomorrow? This is a different question. Who is going to eat pupusas tomorrow? For example, I am. I am going to eat pupusas. Okay. Who's going to eat pupusas tomorrow? I am. Okay. But I need to wake up more early. <laughs> okay. I am, but I need to wake up earlier. Good. Okay, yes. So then you see, this is the topic about asking questions. Who's going to? What are these people going to do? Okay. Uh, then you can see, for example, that different activities that this was a listening here. That was the reduction. This was a snapshot for food, dates, party. Okay, do you remember this one? Higher. I four. Halloween. Okay. Can you ask questions using these dates? Using going to, right? For example, uh, well, this uh, Independence Day in El Salvador is going to be on what day? June, July, August, September. It's going to be Wednesday. It's going to be on Wednesday. Independence Day in El Salvador is going to be on Wednesday. Okay, what are you going to do that day? I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Okay. Okay, it's no problem. I'm going to go to the beach. <laughs> yes, that's that's what we usually do, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> or we say, vamos a desayunar, and then we go somewhere else. Yes, it's a different vacation. We have different in the suburb. We have, but you know, it's uh, I guess it's a. Uh, it's a tradition probably in our country, you know, to, to do different things. Some people like to go and see the parades. Okay, una gente le gusta ir a ver las, los desfiles, right? And other people go to the beach or probably go to the park, they stay in the house and order food or do different activities, right? So just to stay home and do probably parrillada. Uh -huh, yes, uh, for example, you have a barbecue in the house. <laughs> yes, that's another different activities, right? So everyone has 
a personal way to do it. Okay, now that we have, uh, let's say, refresh our memory about uh, going to. Okay, first, sentences using going to. What are you going to do these days? Okay, for example, I'm going to study, uh, let's say, um, what, uh, probably uh, going to study math. Okay, uh, next week. I'm going to take, uh, uh, let's say, a French course next week. Uh, I'm going to buy, uh, going to buy a new pair of shoes uh, this weekend. Okay, what are some things that you plan to do in the near future? Okay, in the future, sir, can. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to Huayua. Okay, tomorrow I'm going to Huayua. Okay, so that's something that you're going to do tomorrow. Okay, what else? Mm. Juan, what is something that you're going to do? What are you planning to do? I am going to eat pupusas to all the quilta tomorrow. Yeah, wow. Okay. Invite us. David. What time? At um, 6 a.m. Uh, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. PM. PM. In Olocuilta. Yes. Okay. Okay, everybody. Todo el que esté ahí a las seis, invita a Edith, right? So then. Todos para lo que... <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take advantage of that invitation. No. Okay, good. I'm going to eat uh, pusas in Olocuilta tomorrow more. Okay, good. Another one? Tomorrow I'm go to the dentist. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow, right? So tomorrow I'm going to the dentist. Okay, one more. Today I'm going to exercise. Okay, after class. After class. Okay, today I'm going to exercise. Uh, okay. Vamos a ver si tienen buena memoria. Eh, is, uh, let's say, let me see. Ah, your hand is coming in. Is Gaby, is Gaby going to the doctor tomorrow? Sorry? Is Gaby going to the doctor tomorrow? No diga nada, Gaby. Vamos a ver si es acuerdan. <laughs> Uh -huh. is, Gavin, is Gabby going to the doctor tomorrow? Yes, he does. Yes, she is? Yes, she is. No, yes. she isn't. <laughs> no, she isn't. Yes, she is. Listen, yes, she is. Is, she, is she going to the doctor mm -hmm. tomorrow? Yes, she is. No. Uh -huh. Or is she going to a dentist? Ah, okay, that's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. No, she is. <laughs> okay, cambió la palabra. No, she isn't. She's going to the dentist. Okay. No, she isn't. As is, as is a career, right? And then uh, in, uh, in in English, we say, is she going to the doctor? No, she isn't. She's going to the dentist. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. okay. No, she isn't. Okay. Is um, is Jorge going to Huayua tomorrow? Okay. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. Good. And uh, this question is for, for Jose. Jose, is Edith going to invite us to eat to Pusa tomorrow morning? 
<risa> yes, she is. Yes, she is. Ok, Edith, ya, ya es un compromiso, es un hecho. Right. Sí, ya veo que ya me comprometí. <risa> a ver quién llega a las... <risa> el, que, el que llegue el que primero. Llegue, pues sí, el que llegue, pues sí. If nobody's there, no, 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 no hay invitación. No, pues, yes. Ok, good. And then, uh, what else? Uh, let me see. Oh, Johanna. Johanna, what are you going to do these days? <clears throat> Johanna. Hello, Johanna. No. Okay, good. And then, uh, Herman, what, what did Herman say? Did he say something? What is Herman going to do? Do you remember? I remember. What is her man going to do? Uh -huh. He is going he is going to do exercise after class. No, her man. He's going to, no, 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 no. My right. He's going to watch a movie. Yes, he's going to watch a movie tonight, or he's going to go to the movies tonight, right? Yes, that's her man. Good, Jose. And who's going to who's going to exercise after class? Who is going to exercise or who's going to do exercise after class? One person said, I'm going to exercise after class. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm going to exercise tomorrow after the ten pupusas I'm going to eat in the morning. Okay. <laughs> yes. Después de las diez pupusas, voy a hacer ejercicio, right? But not before. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, who said that? Pero quién dijo? ¿Quién dijo? Who's going to exercise tonight? Jorge. Jorge, yes. Jorge said, okay, I'm going to exercise. But see the question? Who is going to exercise tonight? Or who's going to exercise after class? Jorge. We don't need to say more. Or Jorge is going to exercise if you want to give a long answer. Okay. Questions about plans. Queda alguna duda de los going to? En las preguntas. Let me see here. Hi, everyone. It is about you. What are you going <clears throat> Where are you going to go? Remember, we have the questions like, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? How are you going to get? And who is going to be there? Okay. For example, where are you going to where are you going to go um, on your next vacation? Huh? Do you have plans for your next vacation? When is the next vacation? In uh, April, right? March, April, I guess, uh, the Hollywood. That's Semana Santa. Where are you going to go, okay, on your next vacation? to the beach, to Miami. I'm going to take a long relax. Okay, I'm going to take a long, long relax moment, okay? Good. You're going to visit? Visit. Visit a family. Okay, visit my family, yes, good. Mm -hmm. um, Jose, what are you going to do? And your next uh, vacation? Probably I'm going to sleep. Probably. Yeah. Okay, that is also good, right? To say, for example, I will probably going to, I'm going to, 
are probably going to sleep a lot. Okay. Um, fun. What are you going to do in your next in your next vacation? I'm going to do a conversation. My spirit. Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> You're going to convert. 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 Conversion. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm going to convert my soul and spirit. Yeah. Nice reflection. Very good. I like that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, then say I'm going to reflect. I'm going to convert. Okay, my spirit. Good. Good thing. Um, Gabi? I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the beach. Okay, good. For a, you know, sometimes it's nice to go to the beach for a couple of days, for one, <laughs> two, three days. It, it's good to relax. Different environment. Okay. Very nice. Did you edit? Um, maybe going to the beach with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, also going to see the uh, alfombras, no sé cómo se dice. The to carpet. see the alfombras. Ah, carpet. The carpets. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Sounds, you know, sounds like a good idea too. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice. And I don't know, Germán. What are you going to do? Or where are you um, going to go? Maybe I'm going to, to work. Um, maybe I'm going to visit uh, my family. Or I stay home and with family. Okay, good. I think, you know, like, uh, like one said, uh, staying home um, and try to reflect and think about um, spend time with the family is, is a good option okay it's a good option in this in this day okay eh, alguna pregunta de esto mm -mm. okay so um I the light that they have okay and let's see this one. Okay, in this one we have the the body parts. Okay, now in the field. Okay, how to express health problems. After you finish this activity. Positive adjectives. Fun. Great. Okay, in this one, we have the The, uh, the adjectives to talk about uh, how we feel, right? To talk about our health. It says, what's the matter? What's the problem? What is wrong? How are you? And how do you feel? So these are different questions or forms to ask somebody how he or she feels. Okay. When do we use what's the matter? When do we use what's the matter? When you feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, yes, right? When you see a person that is uncomfortable, when you see a 
person that probably is crying or a person you see a person uh, probably bleeding they sangrando right bleeding and they say hey, what's the matter okay or you see a person you know probably uh, i don't know like uh, probably shaking his head or probably uh, with a face that shows pain in a cara de dolor right shows pain so they say hey what's the matter what's wrong how are you okay how do you feel uh, sometimes we know people okay and then we can detect that's why we detect that right cuando la gente no está como siempre, right? And then say, what's the matter? You look sad. You look serious. Okay, what's wrong? Okay, you don't look happy. So then we can use all these expressions. Okay. Um, remember sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, and fantastic. Do you remember this vocabulary? All the words. So so. Okay. ¿Cuál no se ¿Sí? Awful. Oh. Awful, Awful. Is, is a synonym of terrible. Awful is very bad. Okay. Awful. Okay. Siento. Horrible, terrible, awful, I feel awful. Oh, eso se puede incluso usar cuando hay una comida o una bebida que a uno le gusta, que es this taste is awful. Mm -hmm. Sabe horrible, right? Right. Yes, and then we have terrible and miserable, right? Sometimes, cuando cometemos errores, right? We feel uh, it's very miserable. Cuando he hecho algo mal o cuando nos sentimos realmente Mal de salir, right? I feel miserable. Okay. Then after the vocabulary, we have the um, common medication. Okay, this is the pronunciation. Remember this. You could say whatever you don't have a name. For example. Okay, in this case, we need the sound. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share. Ask medications. And. Okay, listen again. And acid. Acid. Medications. And acid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops, cold pills, eye drops. Okay, so we have the antacid, a aspirin, the aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough drops, and uh, cold pills, and eye drops. So these are common medications. 
Okay, good. Uh, Jose, could you please repeat this word? Antacid, muscle coin, aspirin, Therapon, count drops, half drop, cold pills. Drop eyes. Eye, eye drop. Eye drops. <laughs> drop, yes, the other way around. Okay, good. Then remember that we use, for example, cough. Wait, cough, cough, cough with an F. Cough drop, and we'll say muscle, muscle cream. Okay, uh, Jorge, can you please read the words? Antacid, muscle cream, aspirin, cold syrup. Syrup, huh? Syrup. Cold drops, cold pills, and eye drop. And eye drops. Okay, good. And uh, Gary? Antacid, aspirin, muscle cream, Cold syrup, cold drops, cold fields, and eye drops. Night drops. Okay, good. That's it. Antacid, muscle cream, aspirin, cold syrup, cup drop, cold fields, and night drops. Night drops. Okay. Um, Fantastic, aspirin, muscle mos cream, cause syrup, syrup, cause cause drops, cold pills. Uh, I know, I know. I I drop. I drop. I drop. Okay, good. Uh, Johanna? Yeah. Antacid, mm -hmm. aspirin, muscle cream, cold stream, syrup, uh -huh. syrup, cold drops, cold fields, eye drops. And eye drops. Okay, good. Excellent. So then we have, well, then you can see, for example, antacid, aspirin, muscle cream, cough syrup, cough, they fail, right? Cough, cough drops, and cold pills, and the eye drops. Okay. Then remember that we also have the imperative. Do you remember the imperative? ¿Qué eran los imperatives? And let me see. Edith, this is going to pay for the mañana. Okay, si me dice a mí, yo pago el chocolate. Okay. <laughs> que me diga que son los imperatives. Okay. Es, I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> ya me tocó todo el gasto. Ya, yes, todo el gasto, entonces, modo. Okay. Son como órdenes. Ajá, okay. Who's speaking? Yes. Uh, okay, ajá, Gaby, continue. Son, eh, Ordenes, commands, teníamos eh, advice. ¿Qué más? Advice, se daba consejo, orden, instructions, remember. Cómo cocinar, 
de cómo hacer un, preparar un, un café con agua caliente, cómo hervir agua, right? So then how to give an instruction, right? Uh, those are the imperatives. Let me see here. To refresh. Let's listen. Let's take a look at you. Between a doctor and a patient. Dr. Young. And we go to the doctor. We're going to. For example, when we go to the doctor, these are like suggestions or recommendations, right? Let's take a pill every four hours. Okay. Tome una pastilla cada cuatro horas. Rest in bed. Okay. Rest, descanse, then drink lots of juice. Uh, don't work too hard, negative. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soy. Okay. This is a, sometimes affirmative and sometimes negative. What are some, uh, let's see, recommendations that you can give your partners to learn English? Okay, ¿qué le recomendarían a sus compañeros para aprender inglés? Can you say one? Listening music in English. Okay, you need, listen, uh, listen to music in English. Okay. You need real books in English. Okay, read books in English. Sin el you need, porque entonces ya no es un imperative. So you can say read books in English. Read books in English. Uh -huh, that's imperative. If you see only watch movies. Uh -huh, watch movies uh, in English, right? In English, yes. Okay. What else? Watch movies, read books. Uh -huh. Practice dialogues, yes, one, correct. The conversation. Practice conversations, uh -huh. What else? Listen to music in English. Listen to music in English only. Okay. What else? Don't speak Spanish in class. Okay. Don't let your teacher speak Spanish. No dejen que su profesor hable en español. Don't let your teacher speak Spanish. Okay. Hagan lo que pague las pupusas. Le cambiamos English. el gasto de las pupusas mañana. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, yes, exactly. Okay, you need to switch. Okay, ya ves que se puede. Okay, okay. Okay, so don't let your teacher speak English. I mean, Spanish in class. Don't, uh, what else? What else? What else? Another advice, recommendation, suggestion, an order. Practice in, practice in front of mirror when you speak. Mm -hmm. Very good. Practice in front of the mirror when you speak, because you can. Uh, that gives you confidence. It's a lot confianza, right? That gives confidence. Okay, that's good. And you can see the the movement of the mouth and lips. What else? Dream in English. <laughs> Which one, Gabby? Dream in English. Dream, yes. <laughs> That's a homework, yes. Dream in English, definitely, you think. And probably one thing to do is, you know, that you, uh, you can, uh, before you sleep, you can watch movies in English, listen to music in English, read a book in English, and that will activate your brain to think and dream in English. What else? There, uh, there is something they call in English full immersion. Una inmersión total en el idioma, right? That helps. What else? So you have a don't. Don't, uh, let's see, don't translate into Spanish. Don't uh, 
think in Spanish. Okay, don't think in Spanish. Don't translate into Spanish. Uh, don't uh, don't be shy. No sea uh, timid, right? Don't be shy. So these are uh, then, and this is for learning English, but also if uh, if you prefer to ser cantante, ¿qué me recomendaría? Practice. Practice karaoke. Okay. Practice, uh -huh. practice karaoke. Okay. karaoke. Now I remember, yes. Okay, practice karaoke, yes. What else? Train, tra train your voice. I can train la voz, right? Train your voice. Uh, probably. Huh? Study music, and I study in a music school, yes, or an academy, study in a music school, yes, where you can, uh, where you can train your voice, okay? So then these were the imperatives, right? Now, don't forget that los imperativos sirven de manera como para dar órdenes a un niño, eh, dar consejo, okay? Eh, dar una recomendación, okay. dar instrucciones, todo depende del contexto y el tono, ok. Entonces, si alguien dice, open the door right now, okay. eso es como una orden bien fuerte, right? Abra la puerta ya. Ok, so then it's different when I say, uh, open the door, please. Okay, abra la puerta, por favor. And then this is, you know, like uh, pidiendo un favor, right? Or giving an instruction, depends. So the, depende del tono, la connotación, how, how we say it. Okay. And then it says, don't work too hard. And that was it. Okay, this is about how to improve your health. And that was the knowledge check. Then we have uh, last week, remember, we were studying the unit three. Ah, but wait a minute. What happened with the oh my yes sorry okay and in the unit three we have the the directions right For example, by the end of the class, you will learn about a uh, vocabulary for score or other things. Examples, places and things. I wanna show you the, this one, prepositions of place. Bank. In order to give directions, trades. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's I think so. Oh no. It's on the corner of... 
Let's practice the following prepositions. Okay. Now, I would like to talk about <clears throat> prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is... On okay, but I want to do The bank is... Okay, just uh, to remind you the meaning of the, the preposition. Okay, and then it says the on. This is on this street. Okay, on sobre tal calle, right? On the corner of, and then you have two streets. First Avenue and Main Street. Across from is on the other side. Okay, across from. Next to is when you have something beside you, right? Beside La Paz. And then you have the word, the preposition between. Next to, you have two. Next to each side, you have something. Okay, you are between. This is next to, this is next to, and the blue one is between this and this. So these are the prepositions. The department uh, store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the rest okay i remember that you didn't have too much problems i mean too many issues with this topic uh, okay opposite opposite corner Okay, when we say opposite then we say opposite corner. Good. Eh, se nos acaba el tiempo, pero eh, hay alguna pregunta de alguien de que tenga así, pero duda con el examen final o algo. Un problema que se haya presentado, no. No, teacher. Ok, excelente. No. Ok. So then, uh, these were the prepositions, and then we have the. How to give directions. Aquí creo que me acuerdo que hicieron unas preguntas, right? In this map. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to Additionally, you'll practice a conversation title Is it up 5th Avenue to Rockefeller Center? Let's practice these phrases And look up Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up 5th Avenue Go up 5th Avenue Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down 5th Avenue. Go down 5th Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? 
then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up 5th Avenue or go up 5th Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The first instruction would be walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be how do I get to New York Public Library? Or how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be walk down 5th Avenue or go down 5th Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that we will use the book. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, remember the vocabulary is when you see the map here, you say you can say go up, vocabulary, go down, so return. Vocabulary. Turn. Okay, turn left and turn right. Okay. Esto también tiene que ver a veces a unos, a unos nos cuesta más, a otros nos cuesta menos a veces leer mapas, right? Or to use, for example, left and right and to remember this. A veces no solo es el tema de saber el vocabulario, sino que también uno ubicarse dentro de un mapa o, o dar una dirección. Ok. So then, remember, it says, here, for example, go to, estamos aquí metidos en este lugar, then it says, go to Fifth Avenue, vaya a la quinta, pero mira, ok. Go to Fifth Avenue, turn left, and then uh, go up Fifth Avenue, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Then turn right. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Cathedral is on the left. Ya cuando uno ha girado, it's on the left. And the opposite, okay, is vamos a ir al Grand Central Terminal. Go to Madison Avenue. Walk to the corner of Madison, okay, and 50 Avenue, uh, uh, yes, Madison Avenue and 50 Street. Turn right on Madison, go down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Turn left, go walk one block. In Turn Grand, right. Grand Central Terminal is on the left. Okay, so it's the practical con un mapa con este, you go up, go down, turn right, uh, turn right, turn left. Okay, go straight ahead. Este video es de mucha ayuda para esta parte. Okay. Any doubts? Ok, people, ya no tengo más tiempo, o sea, para, para ver otro tema, pero si quieren ahorita preguntas, sí, no hay problema, digan. 
No. No. Ok. Bueno, eh, lo espero mañana a las seis en el oculta. No, pero no se preocupe. Usted, que... Ajá. usted paga, va a pagar el chocolate entonces. Sí, yo pago el chocolate. Pero no se preocupe que ni hemos dicho en cuál, así que como hay tantas, ahí vamos pues a sí. perdidos todos. Ok, okay no. Eh, Realmente fue un placer estar con ustedes. It was my pleasure. Okay. And it was nice. Eh, creo que tiene mucho potencial. O sea, no he visto muchos problemas de pronunciación y todo eso. Es de practicar el inglés. And, y espero pues, que sigan con este curso para que nos vayan a quedar aquí con este. O, menos que obviamente exista algún inconveniente que no puedan, pero igual, y el, el tiempo, el sacrificio hay que hacerlo. Ok, ya, ya se dieron ustedes aquí muchos tips. Eh, watch movies in English, listen to music in English, read books, eh, practice. Ok, hay que poner en práctica todo eso, right? And I think that eh, pretty soon ya, ya van a ver ustedes los resultados en un par de meses y siguen esos espectáculos. Ok, people, it was a big pleasure. Un gran placer. Eh, Gracias, teacher, igualmente. Gracias, teacher, es igual, un placer. Okay. Igual, igual, un gusto conocerlos a todos. Ok, excelente. Entonces, este, nos vemos probablemente más adelante, no sé, ahí con unos programas, si nos volvemos a ver pronto o, o, en el, o más en el tiempo, ok. Pero por okay. hoy, desde aquí hasta que nos volvamos a ver, la tarea. Estudiar, en, estudiar y dormir en inglés. <laughs> Dream in English, okay? Dream in English. Cuando lo vuelva a ver, le voy a preguntar. Okay? If you, if you, dream, <laughs> if you dream in English. Okay? Okay. okay. Juan, Germán, José, Edith, Iris, Gaby, José, Saraí, Joana. May God bless you, okay? Bendiciones and take care. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice Bye. to meet you. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.